Week three of the quarantine. We had to replace toilet paper by this. It ain't silky smooth, let me tell you that. Hello Shopify world, my name is Andrew from ecomexperts.io and I'm here to review another Shopify app with you so that you can kind of know what's going on before you install it. So this week we are looking at one of the grand masters of the Shopify app world. And the specific app we're talking about today is Clavio, right? There is all these things that we're gonna go over. So um, we'll put the timestamp down below. Just click where you wanna see what. And that's it. Let's go to the first section behind the scenes and I'll show you around what it looks like. The app is installed and we are on the sign up page. It's the usual stuff, so it will take about a minute or so. We can do it real quick. There is a verification process, which we've never seen with any other Shopify apps. Um, all right, after you finish with the verification, you will be redirected to the start guide. And frankly, who doesn't love a start guide? It solves a lot of issues. A lot of people are complaining about the complicated setup process, but that is probably due to the advanced functionalities this app is offering. It's a pretty complete app. Um, the first step in this start guide is to add your website and choose the type of your company. You can choose between e-commerce, nonprofit, and something else. We will choose e-commerce and then just jump to the next step. Here you should choose the platform you are using and connect the account with the platform. Next in line is our email details. Uh, they need our business mailing address to ensure that the emails comply with anti-spam laws. And boom, now we're in the second part of the start guide already. On this page, we need to upload our logo. And after that, you will be able to choose the colors and the font of your brand. So far, this is all pretty normal. The last step in the design section is reserved for header and social links. And there you go, that's it for the start guide. All right, okay, this went way smoother than I expected, so we can proceed to the dashboard. The dashboard looks really nice. It gives you that luxurious feeling. Um, and frankly, that's something I would expect from an app of this type and caliber. So on the left, we have the sidebar with the dashboard, the flows, the email templates, lists, etc., etc. And Clavio utilizes a drag and drop email compressor, which is really, really easy to use. Um, this lets you create your email designs with relative ease and gives you a preview of what your email will look like in your subscriber's inbox. That said, Clavio doesn't sell themselves on great email design. While you'll be able to create emails that are fully mobile responsive, Clavio is not a huge, huge, huge powerhouse when we're talking about mind-blowing email designs and creating them. But regardless, let's create our first campaign. Click on the campaign from the sidebar and from here, this blue button. A new window pops up, give the campaign a name and choose tags. What the hell are tags? Please let me know in the comment section below. Um, once you finish with this window, you will be redirected to recipient section. Here you can play with including and excluding certain lists, uh, use smart sending and UTM tracking. UTM tracking is for Google uh, Analytics, by the way. We will choose repeat customers and we won't send an email to the customers who received an email from us in the past 16 hours. That's pretty cool that we can do this. Um, in the content section, you can choose from four different email types. The first option is to create it using the drag and drop builder. You can either just do it by text. You can choose the template from the library or you can code your own email content. Um, let's see what we can find in the template library. Okay, damn, I take it back. They do have mind-blowing designs. Uh, so many templates and a lot of them look really, really pretty. Uh, let's choose this one and see how difficult it will be to customize it. And look at that, it's not that difficult at all. Just drag and drop elements. If you want to edit a specific element, you can click on it. So let's preview it. You can choose to send it to the email or preview it in Clavio. It looks, it looks really good. What do you guys think? Okay, let's send it and then we can move to flows. 
Uh, in Clayview, a flow is an automated sequence that is set in motion by a specific trigger and then includes one or more steps. Let's say if the client does this, then make him do, then send him this and then wait five days and then do this and this and this. So that's an example of a flow. Flows can be built uh, using timely communications to recipients via email or SMS, or they can simply apply certain actions. Like, for example, uh, updating a specific field on a profile. Clavio flows are designed to make it easy to initiate and nurture relationships with your subscribers and customers over the course of their life cycle, which is pretty cool. With flows, you can automate emails that will help grow your business without losing any of the personalization and relevance needed to build strong customer loyalty. Now, there's a whole bunch of people that specialize in Clavio flows and which type of flows work best and what email to send when. This is like an industry in an industry. It's sub-industry. Straight off the bat, you can look at maybe Ezra Firestone, who uh, is also a Shopify marketer. He has tons of very valuable content out there, so shout out to him. But uh, there's also by quick Google searches, you will find some people that have pre-proven flows already out there that you definitely want to take a look at. Because why reinvent the wheel, right? So the Clavio flow library has also a range of pre-built flows that span the customer life cycle. Uh, there are three ways you can filter your views to browse different options, the type, the goal, or the integration. If you want to create the flow from scratch, you just choose this option right here. Let's check out the welcome series, choose the name, tags, and triggers, and we are on the new window. Here you can add actions, timings, and logic. Again, you just drag and drop them and your email automation is done. All right, that was much easier than I thought it was gonna be. A nice job, Clavio. But I guess that's not really a surprise for the industry leader. Thank you very much. So it's time to step it up to the next section. It's time to check out if this app affects the speed of our store. Uh, for this, you can use our tool, which is testmystorespeed.com. It's 100% free and it's built Shopify specific. So you will only have information that's pertinent to Shopify, not some things you can't change. Beside that, we also show you all the apps that the store has installed or has still code lying around from. And you can even check it out on your competitor's site to see which app they use. Anyway, you, we use the tool to test the, our site before we installed the app. So now we just tested it again and we can go to history to easily compare the before and after. So let's just select those right here. So as you can see, Clavio had a slight impact on the store speed and it as well as the page size, and it did increase the number of requests. So that's no big deal, but just make sure that it's not just lying around if you're not using the app anymore. All right, now that we have that covered, what does the, the next section? What's that again? So most people are checking emails on their phones, and it's important to see how all of this looks on mobile. Um, let's send the test campaign to our inbox. So we got the email, and it looks pretty good. Damn, all right. There is the Powered by Clavio branding, but we will see how we can remove that in the facts corner a bit later. Don't forget, especially if you custom build your emails, to check them out on mobile. This is very, very important, guys. If you're not doing mobile, you're not really doing e-commerce these days. Good to know. We're off to... Let's check out the customer service available via this contact form uh, for people on a free plan. And then agents are available between 6 a.m. and 10 p.m. Eastern time on weekdays and 10 a.m. to 4 Eastern on weekend. You do have the ability to chat. So let's send them a message and we will be back as soon as we get an answer. Uh, in the meantime, you can really check out the um, Clavio Help Center, which has a whole bunch of practical information. You can search through the articles, videos, etc. Like Clavio has a really big community of people working as subcontractors for them and of people just generating a whole bunch of content for Clavio. So while it might all be just a bit much when you start installing Clavio, the entire community is there to support you. Okay, welcome to the facts corner because it's a corner and we're gonna spit out some facts. Waddy waddy wats. I should have been like a rapper, like sandwich wrapper. I would have been 
really good at it. So Clayview has a whole bunch of integrations. As you know, it works really well with some other softwares and we're going to sum them up uh, here. So uh, quickly, we have Smile.io, which we reviewed. We have Yachtpo, which we reviewed as well. Uh, loyalty line for loyalty points, which we reviewed as well, I believe. We have Aftership, we have Bold. Ooh, the Bold guys. We still need to review the entire Bold family. Uh, Octane AI, we have Just You Know Preview, Recharge Swell. Uh, stamped sumo and ship station so all their logos are here um, this is very crucial to know if your app that you already use works well with Clavio. so here's your answer all right so pricing wise pricing works works with that fun little ticker where you can slide it and you can see how much it costs and then it always starts out great and then you start crying as you slide the ticker it's free up to 200 if 50 contacts in your contact list i believe and so if we slide the ticker here we can kind of see what the price is going to look like as you slide it all right let's say that you tell me andrew this is not really my vibe i don't like the colors of clavio uh what are the um the alternatives well you have omniscient ac marketing automation drip smart email marketing all right i have to cheat on the next one send send in blue and finally we have seguno which we also reviewed have we not i feel like i've reviewed seguno anyway the logos are here check out which one we reviewed and so let's look at the rating the rating is a 4.4 out of 5 star which is a pretty decent rating for the size of the app it has a total of 824 reviews at the time of this recording um let's overlay it right here uh, so this is the breakdown you can see there are a couple of one star 79 actually so i'm gonna randomly overlay some of, of the one stars just so maybe there's some red flags in there that you're like oh yeah true that's with me but you know you gotta take these one stars into perspective with everything that we said before and some people just also leave in one stars those are never gonna be happen i'm looking at you karen that is it for this week. That is it for Clavio. Thank you very much for watching another video. Please, 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 please. If you have friends that are starting Shopify stores, let them know about this channel. Share this channel so that they know about it and that more people can make informed decisions and don't just start randomly installing app, having all the code in their clutter, slowing their speed slowing their side down and then making a whole mess dropping revenue yada 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 thank you so much i love you all we'll see you next week for the next video cha cha